in content analysis, when you try to explain to your students that companies have often to make a choice between high market shares and high profit, and they might have neither, uh, it's sometimes hard to, to demonstrate in the classroom. I'm going to show you one case study where uh, conjoint analysis in Ingenious makes it very clear. I'm opening the uh, door case study, which is a very interesting business-to-business -business case study where a German company tries to enter the U.S. market, and the U.S. market has been analyzed using a conjoint study with uh, multiple competitors, uh, the preferences of uh, B2B customers have, has been, uh, have been quantified through uh, preference part worth and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is to ask Ingenius to run a conjoint analysis with the, that, with the data. As you can see, in conjoint you have many options because simulations can be quite complex. And I'm going to ask Ingenius to test with any product possible. So what the software is going to do is to try to estimate the market share uh, and potential profit of, of each and every potential product that the Duor company could introduce in the U.S. market. And for each product, it will estimate both market shares and profit. And once we have that, you can actually show, I'm going to skip a bit of a report, uh, you can actually show to your students what is called the Pareto frontier. So each dot you see here is a potential product that the Duor company could introduce in the market. Each and every dot is, is a product. Uh, in that case study, we have 256 potential combinations. For each of these combinations, we estimate, number one, the market share that it can hope for, and how much profit per customer unit uh, you can hope for. And the dots you see in red are the products that give the Pareto optimal combination of market share and profit, knowing that option number one here, which is described below, uh, gives you the lowest market shares, but actually the highest weighted revenue, while the product here gives you 100% market share, but you lose money because you are on the left of uh, the profit line, uh, which is the green dash line you see here. Uh, and all these products are then um, simulated in the market with uh, conjoint analysis. So that's a very nice feature that uh, has eluded most instructors when they teach conjoint analysis. It's hard to show that there is such a trade-off between market shares and profit, uh, and we hope that that Pareto frontier, uh, which is new, uh, will help you teach that more effectively. 